We're the Alma Heights Mules. And it's time for big game coverage on KSAT 12. The Jefferson Mustangs at the Alma Heights Mules is our game of the week. Heights entered the night at 5-0 overall, 4-0 in District 14, 5A2. The Mustangs started the day 4-1 and 3-1 and in district play. Now on paper, this was a fascinating matchup, but Jeff knew they'd have to play awesome at Orem Stadium to upset those mighty mules. So before the game, Alma Heights held a moment of silence for assistant football coach Rodney Savinich, who passed away this week. Our condolences to his family and the Alma Heights community. First quarter, no score. Jefferson punting the ball away. Trip Johnson fields the ball, and then he's going to run to his right. He gets to the 50-yard line. He hits the sideline, and Jeff is not going to get him. House call on this Friday night for Trip Johnson. 70-plus yards to make it 7 to nothing. Mules, and they would dominate from there. The Mules take it 50-0 to zero while playing with some very heavy hearts. Yes, sir, you know, uh... It was a very heavy week earlier this week, and we just tried to bounce back and do everything for Coach Sav and just put a show on for everyone. Uh, I mean, it was really important to us. Um, with the passing of our coach recently, uh, I think it was a great sign of our determination and uh, how good we can really be. We got burgers, nachos, and hot Cheetos out of Bernie ISD Stadium tonight as champion hosted Seguin Matadors. First quarter, no score. Jordan Ballin doing just that. Connects with Sawyer Bully, who spins out of the tackle for a few more yards down the sidelines, a 20-yard pickup. Next play, Ballin hits wide open Caleb Krause for the 26-yard touchdown for Bernie Champion, and the champion Chargers win 52-19. Let's take you out to Ferris Stadium, number five Harlan, facing number 11 Sotomayor. We're in the second quarter, 14-7 Wildcats. We're in quarterback Evan Fine is feeling the pressure. He throws it to running back Jaden Gutierrez, and he does the rest wide open to hustle for a 30-yard gain down the sidelines. But they cannot get into the end zone. Sotomayor settles for a field goal from Jesse Perez to make it 17-7 Sotomayor. And right now, Sotomayor is leading. Actually, I was just told this is 38 all right now in the second overtime, folks. What a great game that is. Let's hang out now at the gusts where the Warren Warriors are facing number 12. Brendan Bears, third quarter. Bears on the move. Quarterback Caden Glass rolling to his right, looking to pass. Doesn't like what he sees, so he runs and he gets knocked out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Moments later, the Bears get in the end zone. The handoff goes to Makai Thompson. He works his way in for the touchdown to make it 17 0. Brennan and Brennan rolls 31 to nothing. Let's go to Alamo Stadium where they were serving up Frito Pie tonight. Looks good, right? At the Harlandale Indians and the Highland Owls in this District 14 5 2 contest. Yes, chili and jalapenos, please. First quarter, Harlandale ball. Hannah goes to Zeon Molina, and he picks up about nine yards in that carry. Moments later, same drive. Quarterback Jacob Saucedo lofts a nice pass to Roger Dominguez for a nine-yard touchdown, and the Indians score first 7 to nothing. and Harlandale takes it 59-6. Take you to Coleman Lander Stadium where these students were having a good Good time tonight. The Clark Cougars are playing the Johnson Jaguars in District 28-6A. First quarter, Clark gets on the board. First QB, Philip Metzger, throws to Elijah Johnson. He runs and dives in for the 10-yard touchdown. Cougars lead seven to zip. EJ Hessen moves. The Jags answer back. Star quarterback Ty Hawkins scores from one yard away. And this game is tied at seven. And Johnson wins 56-7. Let's go out to Hero Stadium. The fans feeling patriotic tonight as Churchill facing Brandeis. It's 2-0 Brandeis in the second when the Chargers are trying to run the ball, but there's a fumble. Brandeis linebacker Jacob Holmes brings it back for the touchdown. 9-0 Brandeis. Chargers trying to get a field goal on their next drive, but the ball is just taken from the air after the kick by Deron Hall. He's taking it back 85 yards of the touchdown. Let's check out that final. Brandeis wins 24-12. That there is the Canyon Band keeping the crowd going on this Friday night. Buta Hayes at New Braunfels Canyon. First quarter, no score. Sophomore Jackson Regan gets the call. Busts up the middle for an 18-yard gain. Canyon keep the drive going. It ends with this two-yard touchdown by Regan. And the final from Cougar Stadium is New Braunfels wins it 36-18. to Out at Rutledge Stadium, Liberty Hill visiting Veterans Memorial. We're in the third quarter. Liberty Hill just jumped out of front 14-7 when quarterback Clinton Dixon fires to James Peoples 
who makes a nice over the shoulder catch 47 yard touchdown tying the game at 14 but Liberty Hill takes it 28 21 against Veterans Memorial. The Clemens Buffaloes are playing football with the San Marcos Rattlers tonight at Linhoff Stadium third quarter action Rattlers playing from behind quarterback cutter gauge Webb with plenty of time throws deep to Tony Diaz for a Rattlers touchdown. They trail 42 21 and Clemens goes on to they actually come back Clemens actually wins this game I'm sorry 48 to 41 over San Marcos ladies and gentlemen please stand for the playing of the Somerset High School school song first stop for photographer Josh Saunders visiting Edgewood Veterans Stadium for number nine Somerset and the Kennedy Rockets first quarter Bulldogs on the move quarterback Kobe Isbell throws to his right Jaden Foss makes the catch gets some blocks that's a 20 yard gain inside the 20 the drive it in with this a one yard run by Will Spaulding it's seven nothing Bulldogs will be left and Somerset wins 60 to 13 Edison and Brack squaring off at the SAISD sports complex it's 2010 Edison in the fourth quarter when Eagles Quarterback Jalen Guerra throws to Elias Gonzalez Tijarina in the backfield. He throws to Aurelio Garcia, who makes the grab over the defender. 22-yard touchdown for Brack. That cut the lead to three, and that score, Edison beats Brack by three, 20 to 17. Man, that was a super fast block of big game coverage highlights, and we're not even done. Coming up after the break, we still have the BGC road trip. It stops at Poteet and Churdenton. Plus, we're talking the Red River rivalry. Mary Rominger is in Dallas with more. But before we go to break, let's listen to the YMLA marching band. Oh, 